Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system, has a story that begins in the early days of the solar system, about 4.5 billion years ago. This gas giant formed when the solar nebula, a giant rotating cloud of gas and dust, collapsed under its own gravitational pull. Jupiter's formation likely began with the accumulation of icy and rocky material into a solid core, which then attracted surrounding hydrogen and helium, the most abundant elements in the nebula. As Jupiter's mass increased, its gravity became strong enough to pull in more material, allowing it to grow significantly larger than any of the terrestrial planets. Its early formation also had a significant impact on the arrangement of our solar system's structure. Jupiter's immense gravitational force influenced the orbits of other smaller bodies, leading to the formation of the asteroid belt and affecting the orbital paths of other planets. Jupiter's composition is primarily hydrogen and helium, similar to a star, but it lacks sufficient mass to initiate nuclear fusion. Its atmosphere features complex weather systems, including the famous Great Red Spot, a gigantic storm larger than Earth that has been raging for centuries. Jupiter also boasts a large number of moons, with at least 79 confirmed, each with unique characteristics. The four largest moons, Io, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto, were discovered by Galileo Galilei in 1610 and are known as the Galilean moons. These moons are interesting in their own right, with Europa speculated to have a subsurface ocean capable of supporting life. The magnetic field of Jupiter is 14 times stronger than Earth's, with a magnetosphere so large it begins to deflect solar wind 3 million kilometers away. This magnetic field is thought to be generated by the eddy currents, or swirling movements of conducting materials, within its liquid metallic hydrogen core. Jupiter is not just a planet, but a major feature of our solar system that has played a vital role in shaping the environment and trajectory of the planets and other bodies around it. Its study continues to provide key insights into the formation of planetary systems and the dynamics of atmospheres and magnetic fields in the universe. In the early 1970s, Pioneer 10 arrived in 1973 and Pioneer 11 a year later. They provided the first close-up images of the planet, studied its intense radiation belts and made the first direct observations of its magnetic field. These missions also helped to refine measurements of the mass of Jupiter's moons. Both Voyager missions visited Jupiter in 1979, providing detailed images and data that dramatically increased our understanding of Jupiter's atmosphere magnetosphere, and moons. The Voyager spacecraft discovered volcanic activity on Io, Jupiter's innermost Galilean moon, and observed complex features in Jupiter's rings. Launched in 1989, the Galileo spacecraft entered orbit around Jupiter in 1995, marking the first time a spacecraft orbited the planet. Over its eight-year mission, Galileo delivered a wealth of information including evidence of subsurface saltwater oceans on Europa, Ganymede and Callisto, and detailed data on Jupiter's atmospheric composition and dynamics. Galileo also provided insights into the properties of Jupiter's magnetic field and the volcanic activity. While primarily a Saturn mission, Cassini passed by Jupiter in 2000 on its way to Saturn. This flyby allowed for dual observations with the Galileo spacecraft already in orbit around Jupiter, providing a unique two-point measurement of Jupiter's magnetosphere. Cassini also captured some stunning images of Jupiter's atmosphere. New Horizons. This mission conducted a flyby of Jupiter in 2007 for a gravity assist en route to Pluto. New Horizons tested its instruments on Jupiter and collected data on its atmosphere and moons. It also observed atmospheric events, like lightning and the Little Red Spot, a smaller storm than the Great Red Spot. Launched in 2011, Juno arrived at Jupiter in 2016. This mission is specifically designed to study Jupiter's atmosphere and magnetic field. Juno has provided detailed images of Jupiter's poles for the first time, and has offered new insights into its internal structure and the depth of its atmospheric features. It has also studied Jupiter's auroras, 
and is helping scientists understand the planet's formation and evolution. Europa Clipper is slated to launch in the 2020s and will focus on studying Europa, one of Jupiter's moons that might harbor an ocean beneath its icy crust and potentially support life. Each of these missions has contributed layers of understanding about Jupiter, revealing it not just as a planet, but as a complex system with its moons and magnetic environment. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more content like this, then please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.